Fortnite Season 2 has introduced some of the most loved updates of all time, but it's also left a big hole in our hearts since the web slingers got vaulted. They were one of the most fun mythics we have ever had, and while we all thought they'd never come back, it turns out that might not be entirely true. In the most recent patch, the files for the web slingers were updated with new camera movement changes, which practically confirms they'll be returning in the future, maybe for a Spider-Verse collab. And something else that's been leaked is a return of Clombo. Around the map, everyone knows that you can spot the new Clombo mounts, but what you might not have heard is that once this iconic dino comes back, he will be entirely different. Before he was vaulted, we all loved the fact that you could shoot Clombo as much as you wanted and he wouldn't feel a thing. He was literally invincible. Well, it looks like Epic wasn't happy with that because when they return later this season, Clombos will be killable. Now, at first, you can't think of any reason you want to shoot him, but Fortnite is changing everything. Soon, Clombos will drop a special version of meat and different kinds of loot, like ammo, mats, even weapons, and I'm kind of terrified about this update. But if you're a fan of Ryu or Chun-Li, you'll be happy to hear that two new Street Fighter skins have been revealed and are releasing this week. This is Sakura, a skin that a ton of Street Fighter fans have been asking for, and she'll be joined by Blanca, who has a really fancy edit style. If you want to earn the outfits for free, there's a cup happening today and tomorrow, which is probably to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Street Fighter. And speaking of anniversaries, we are getting closer to May the 4th, also known as Star Wars Day. We're all hoping to see some kind of celebration, but thanks to leaks, we might have our first look at what to expect. In the files, a new Imperial Stormtrooper NPC has been added, and the description says they were recruited by the IO, which is kind of weird, right? And that's not even the craziest thing that the Imagine Order is up to. Thanks to leaked audio from John Jones, we know that this season will involve a brand new Doomsday device. It is likely the IO's secret weapon in the war over the island. And as we get closer to season three, we might just know when Doomsday will actually happen. We've had a lot of hints on the island lately from ghost flags around the map, Meowsel's hiding in a blimp, and sky camping out in Command Cavern. Because of this buildup, a lot of players think this new Doomsday device will have a big part to play in the season two live event, which is just under a month away. If you're looking for more emotes to use in live events, soon we'll be able to buy the snacking emote from the item shop, and this will really come in handy when you learn what else Epic is working on. If you're a fan of really unique creative games, then you'll be excited to hear that Fortnite is going to release a board game device. This will allow creative builders to easily make their own board games in Fortnite, and that sounds super awesome. But if you've been sticking to Battle Royale, you're probably voting for the Rift to go or the Boogie Bomb right now. Although if this vote leaves you scratching your head, there's an even more insane one right around the corner. The next voting station vote will make us choose between the Shield Bubble and the Balloons. Both of these items are going to be game changing if they get added. And if you were worried about any delays, Fortnite is perfectly on schedule, it turns out. The next big update is on Tuesday and it is sure to give us leaks about the upcoming live event. So as we wait for Season 3 on June 3rd, Epic Games are already testing it, confirming that it will not be delayed. Alongside Season 3, we'll be getting the new Zero War comic, and the best part about this is that it will come with free Marvel skins. Thanks to a leak, we already know what to expect. The comics will reward us with a Spider-Man based skin, an Iron Man wrap, and a Wolverine pickaxe, and if you collect all 5 comics, you'll get an exclusive skin. Now everyone is wondering what the Spider-Man outfit could be, and while some people think it could be Miles Morales, it might also be a Zero version of Spider-Man. And while we wait for Season 3, Fortnite is going to treat us to some wild weeks. We don't have a lot of details, but we know that we'll get a chocolate week, as well as a bargain week, which will probably add discounts to like the NPCs around the map. And then finally, we will have a purple week, which is likely going to force us to only use epic rarity weapons. And while we're talking about powerful guns, Epic Games is working on an unreleased pistol that will do an insane amount of damage to builds. Although it'll only shoot one bullet every two seconds, and it reloads super slow, so it kind of sounds like an upgraded version of the hand cannon if you ask me. It's not the only thing Fortnite players should be scared of because leakers have found a new skin in the files that you probably don't want to fight against. This is Omega Knight and he is almost ready to release. We're expecting him to drop by the end of the season and a lot of people are excited for this one. But a leak that has everyone surprised is a new vehicle coming to Fortnite next season. It is called the Quad Bike and you might be thinking that we already have Quad Crashers, so what's different? Well, these could be faster and might just be an upgraded version of them. But a partnership that sent waves through the community was when Epic Games announced a collaboration with LEGO. They are making a special experience that allow people of all ages to experience the metaverse. And I'm not really sure what that means, but we could get a Fortnite Lego collab. It's not confirmed, but it's now more possible than ever. And it's similar to Epic's recent partnership with the developers of The Witcher, meaning Geralt is coming to Fortnite too. But for new features that'll freshen the game up, Epic is working on an unreleased app named Post Party. It'll let us capture clips seamlessly on Fortnite and Rocket League and then share it straight to our friends, making it super convenient. And speaking of clips, if you missed those insane 
Choppa moments from Chapter 2, then it looks like there's plenty more right around the corner. Yeah, helicopters are returning to the game in just a few weeks, and they will have some much-needed changes. Once we overtake some more POIs from the Imagined Order, the Seven will begin to open new funding stations. We'll be able to fund these to spawn in seven Choppas, and once they appear on the map, you'll notice that they have a completely new design. But it won't be as big of a change as the brand new reboot feature that Epic is working on. We're all used to how reboot vans work right now, but Fortnite is planning on overhauling the system entirely. We're gonna get a new deployable reboot item, which will let us revive our teammates from anywhere on the map. No van needed. And if you somehow can't pick up your friend's reboot card in time, we'll actually be able to revive our teammates using gold instead, which sounds like a good change. But I don't think we'll have trouble getting to reboot vans this season, because ballers are also returning. There's a new version of them in the files known as Hamster Ball Prototype, and they will have 400 health. We'll also be joined by airstrikes, yet another controversial item from Chapter 1. These completely split the community when they're in the game. But now that they're coming back, Epic Games are doing things differently. These new airstrikes will do way more damage to builds, but less damage to players, and will also have a lot less rockets. If you prefer taking out your enemies with more stealth, then the hunting rifle is for you. This has been updated in Season 2 and could be released as early as next season. With all of these items coming back, you might be wondering if there's anything brand new coming. We've got you covered. There is tons of new leaks, starting with the upcoming tomato consumable. Yeah, soon we'll be able to eat tomatoes and they'll give us a nice little heal boost. But a ridiculous leak has been circulating on social media for a few days now. Recently, rumors claim that Kanye West is planning a collaboration for his Donda 2 album. The only evidence behind this is an image that reads partnership with Epic and Donda billboards inside Fortnite. This blew up a few days ago, but the original person who tweeted it has since deleted their post and swept it under the rug. So I'm leaning more towards this one probably being fake, although seeing Kanye in Fortnite will be so cool. And he's not the only musician to be linked with Fortnite. After Donald Muster made multiple tweets about Billie Eilish, people went crazy thinking that this is a teaser for something more. And then some leakers came out and claimed they had inside information. Apparently Billie Eilish is the frontrunner to be the next Fortnite headliner. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens, but for something that is 100% happening, we have one of the most telling leaks of the entire season. The upcoming territories reveal that we are going to push back the Imagined Order all the way to Command Cavern and Loot Lake. Now, it's a little suspicious that they're going to keep control of Loot Lake, because this could confirm that the Zero Point is located here, and it might just mean you're looking at the location of the Season 2 live event. As we move into Season 3, though, we are getting our first look at some upcoming Battle Pass skins. Thanks to a leak from Epic Games themselves, it's been revealed that Chapter 3, Season 3 will give us Darth Vader. His arrival on the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show lines up perfectly with the start dates for Season 3, making his chances of being in the Battle Pass huge. He'll also be joined by Indiana Jones, which was leaked on the same computer, but there is one folder that had everyone freaking out, and that is Family Guy. No, I'm not kidding. Peter Griffin of Fortnite might become a reality in Season 3, and I cannot wait. But Fortnite isn't just preparing Darth Vader, in just a few days we'll also get lightsabers back to celebrate May the 4th. The Star Wars cosmetics will also return to the item shop, and we could see Obi-Wan Kenobi in the last few weeks of the season. And that's every leak, hope you guys enjoyed, it's been Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.